this 25 kilometre walk encompasses a little bit of everything. The coastal path, the pilgrim's trail, the Worsley Trail. <coughs> oh. A slip, a living legend, prehistoric Jurassic Forest and a drop to death. just before sunrise as you can see behind me and doing a 25 kilometer training walk starting the now, finishing the now. gonna follow the coastal path along um, up through into Knighton go back around to Apple Durkham and Roxall and then across the Shanklin and then back along the coastal path back to Ventnor so roughly 25 kilometers um, I've been doing about five and a half hours. And what a beautiful morning in a beautiful part of the world. Let's see how we go. something a little bit special about when you go out in the mornings early and you're the first one out you don't see anybody all on your own all you can hear is the sounds of nature the sea the wind the birds it's so beautiful and when the sun is shining it makes it all that more glorious we're still on the coastal path we've got Woody's Bay to my left a sun right behind me <laughs> and St Lawrence to my right so it's quite a scary drop then isn't it isn't Okay, so yeah, you literally got about 30 centimetres between you and a drop to death. So it's a little bit scary, but still nice. And I've got to say, some of the houses in St. Lawrence are very lovely. Um, it's absolutely stunning. What a perfect morning. I say, I think the Isle of Wight coastal path, especially on the southern section, has got to be one of the best in the world. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm not sure it's just me, but... I really do just lose myself when I'm walking. I can walk for six hours, see no one, speak to no one, and just absorb the surroundings. I just lose myself in like the trees, the plants, the scenery, the wildlife, the birds, the noises. It's just, I wonder, I just often think, is it just me? Am I weird? <laughs> I just had a bit of a climb up from St. Lawrence and now we're heading towards it well, so leaving the coast behind us over there, goodbye sea, and going for the hills and the fields that way. So let's go. I think it's Whitwell and Lighton. Here we come. Just in Knighton Village, 
And um, it's a great little stop off. It's a lovely little family store here, spinning for donkey shoes. And uh, it's a great little pit stop for a coffee and a little um, bit of cake or something, you know? So definitely advice planning your nice stores. It's a lovely little stop off. Just to replenish your supplies. Just finished walking up to Knighton and I've got a bit of a crossroads why I'm there, so I just wanted to share this a little bit. It's a perfect spot. Um, so just to the left of me, we have got the pep quad. Right in the far distance behind over there is the sea where we've just come from. Then you've got some fantastic views just of the whole of the Isle of Wight. Now we're about to turn right here and head towards Roxall. <music> or lunch and um, whilst going through night and earlier stopped and got a coffee in the shop in the little flask and I got to give a shout out to a wonderful shop in Ventnor uh, it's called the London House Kitchen and I'll tell you what they make the most amazing cheese scones and all sorts so this is one of their uh, goat's cheese and tomato um, quiches and I, it's worth it's worth buying stuff from there and taking it with you because their, their food is amazing some of this. Oh, look at that. Oh. That's goat's cheese. Some also. And a caramelised onion quiche. That is absolutely fantastic. Can life get any better than this? Look at that bad boy. The contrast on this walk's been pretty crazy, really, when you think you start off on the beautiful coastline in Vietna, and then up on the downs. And now we are wonderful farmland, uh, farmland. I'm heading up, uh, up to a dam. Sounds weird, doesn't it? These steps are very steep and um, ahead of me is somebody trimming the pathways. Hi, where, where are you from Sue? Uh, uh, now I've gone church. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And why did you do this just for? John, well, for exercise and well, helps towards um, the community, really keeping the public footpath so open, you know, because the brambles grow so quick. So can I just say thank you very much on behalf of everybody that walks on the Isle of Wight? My pleasure, sir. My pleasure. Oh, do you know what? Sometimes you meet people that just brighten up your day. And that lady back there, Sue, is as jolly as you like, as lovely as anybody. Look at her. She's still doing it. She's still cutting away there. And the view from here is amazing. Look at that view. Well, all so, is if you know Sue, Buy her a drink, because she's bloody amazing. About six or seven kilometers to go, and um, 
It's taken me a lot longer than I thought. Originally I thought it would be about six hours. Well, it's going to be about seven and a half to eight hours in total. So um, but I'm looking forward to getting down into Luckham by Shanklin and then um, heading back to Venta. My legs are starting to feel tired. I've got to say this um, bit of the coastal path from Venta to Shanklin or Shanklin to Venta, whichever way you want to go, is just my favourite on the island. It's, um, it's got wild garlic everywhere. It's just oh, so nice. And there's a real massive um, contrast when you walk through the little foresty bit. It just feels like you're in a prehistoric Jurassic forest, all the ferns and the greenery. It's absolutely beautiful. Such a stunning part of the island. Finally, on the last leg. And um, a couple of miles to be back in Vent now. My legs are um, definitely feeling the, um, the walk. Oh, I'm back on the um, final stretch. Coastal Park, just past my church, head of Vent now. Here we are officially on the Worsley Trail. So, so far we've covered the coastal path, the Pilgrim's Trail, part of that, and now part of the Worsley Trail, as well as a living legend, an amazing quiche, and hopefully still to come is a slip. <laughs> 